I'll be spending the next 48 hours in what can only be described as the epicenter of the world of golf. Well, that's not entirely true. It's more likely to be described as the home of golf, which is, of course, St Andrews in Scotland. First, we check into our humble abode for the evening. That's also a lie. There's nothing humble about the world-famous Russox Hotel, which overlooks the 18th green and the first tee on the old course. The big question is, will we make that historic walk on the fairways in 24 hours from now? We'll be tasting Scottish delicacies such as deep fried Mars bar, Fisher and Donaldson yum yums and giant steak and ale pies. Hopefully this episode leads to the sponsorship deal with Athletic Greens. We'll do all the touristy things like gaze at overpriced merchandise and probably happily buy it. What the heck, we are on holiday. I will be joined by a man who is renowned for his ebullient nature, and that's not a word I throw around lightly. Google is about to be hit by the largest ever search for the word ebullient. So, are you excited about today? Yeah. So as you can see, the excitement was palpable and every effort was being made to curb the enthusiasm for what could be an unforgettable 48 hours. But that will be dependent on Lady Luck. And as the Dalai Lama once said, remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. He clearly never entered the ballot to play the old course. Yes, we have succumbed to the law of walking the hallowed turf, the golf course that is described as pretty average apart from playing the first, 17th and 18th. I can't wait to part with £250 for the privilege, and I have to wait 24 hours to see if that privilege is actually bestowed on us. For now, that's going to have to wait as we have one tea time guaranteed, and it's on a golf course which has been on my bucket list since the day it opened which was only four years ago. A new golf course in the golf kingdom of Fife needs to be something special. And from what I've seen and heard, this place is exactly that. Met at the first tee by a very warm welcome from the course starter and a wee dram to oil the cogs. It was time to get underway and a drive that's as smooth as Tennessee whiskey or a Loch Lomond malt, and to be honest, it was neither. I should point out there is an epic match play coming up on the back nine, but first of all, I think we're gonna start off with some stunning visuals that myself and Lewis only get in the way of. The course is picture perfect, and as I now rate my course based on how photogenic it might be, this would be ranked at number one. If I created a visual in my mind as to what I would want a golf course to look like, then this would be it. Big congrats to Clive Clark and all the team at Dunbarney for delivering what can only be described as a modern masterpiece. struggle to compare this to any other UK golf course. It seems to have drawn inspiration from so many different styles and combined to create something quite unique on Scottish soil. minute drive to get from St Andrews over to Dunbarney. Right Lou, before I go any further in this video we need to know, we played eight holes so far or we're on the eighth green, what is your current score? I'm four under. Four under, putting for Doesn't five very often. under. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. Yeah, it's oh, been dear. unreal so far. This is where it goes wrong, I can feel it. Well to be honest with you mate, it all matters on the back nine, the front nine's almost irrelevant but uh, I'm encouraging him to get rid of all these and uh, have none left for the back. Has he got another? Has he got another? Oh, oh my word. Right, let's get to the next tee. Stymie's coming very soon and hopefully all your birdie puts have uh, been used on the front. Good par. Mm. 
As ever, big thanks to our series sponsor, PXG. Without their support, we simply could not create the Off The Beaten Track series. Right, Lou, before we make our way and uh, start our stymie match on the back nine, you've played here before. Yep. How would you rate it? It's as good as anywhere. Yeah. Can't it's that good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not just... Not just because I've been here and, you know, you, it's just brilliant. It's nothing it's, to do with the fact you're four under, now you genuinely like it. I love it. I love it. I've been buzzing all the way up, haven't I? It's really... To be fair, uh, yeah, he's... I've been uh, raving about it. And what, and what do you think of it? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I mean, obviously, we're uh, we're still we're, 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 this is hole nine, probably my favourite hole so far, yeah. visually from the tee. Yeah. And uh, the fact that it's a decent tee shot helps as well. The holes going that way towards the water are amazing. Aren't it's they? just stunning. Every, I have virtually every position that you land on, whether you're stood on a tee in the middle of a fairway, take a glance around you, and uh, it's pretty incredible. And uh, I'm just glancing around because I can't. Oh, I've just snuck off the fairway. I'm on the fringe. Anyway. We're getting warmed up for Stymie, I need to get my putter going, I know that much, and he needs to stop. Now photo of the week is a bit special, go for it, Lewis or Andy, in a comment section down below. Before we get into our match play, I must share with you what an amazing job Marine and Lorne have done in the revamp of Russox. It is the place to stay in St Andrews. And more to come from here in next week's episode. My plan for our match was quite simple. Law Lewis into a false sense of security on the front nine and then unleash hell on earth on the back. And with my driver speed topping out at 96 MPH, he'd better be ready for this whirlwind. Right, okay, so this is the most important bit of every week nowadays. It's uh, stymie and uh, we're well and truly switched on. Yeah. You've been on fire. It's time I got going a little bit. Tell me first of all, what are we looking at in terms of the stroke index? Stroke index one. It's stroke one. Stroke one. What a time to kick off. Let's toss the coin and see who goes first. Heads or sails? Sails for Wales. Sails, yeah. I can't remember what she said. So That's heads. <laughs> sails for Wales never fails except in <laughs> Stymie every week. Right, That's it. you having the honour? Uh, yeah. Um, well, you've got to have the honour, haven't you? That's what you want to win. I'm going to have the honour. Do I want the honour? You're on a shot. I don't... I think I want the honour when you're on a shot, do I? Of course you do. You're in control of the hole, aren't you? You're in control of the hole. Nice. Nice shape. Little slider. That'll be alright, though, isn't it? So? Yeah. Question? Yeah. You're in oh, straight... We're... Yeah, I think I think we're all right here. Yeah, you're gonna play. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Do you ever if, do you ever use a stymie card, or are you gonna stitch me up like last time and just? Uh... I've had a look at the scorecard and I've seen where the stroke index are. Okay, so you've got the experience round here, haven't you? That's pretty good. 
I don't know the line, you know it better than me, so it's a little yeah, bit tight down right the right, there. isn't it? Yeah, I'll be fine. I probably got away with one, really. Um, yeah. I've got 160. I think you're all right there. What yeah, it's got? okay. 165. Get up, and again. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's all right for you, hasn't it? It's okay, yeah. It's on the safer side. I don't think there's much to miss on the uh, on the right of the flag. So, yeah, it's pretty much as I planned. What are we looking at first of all, the yardage? Uh, 158. 158. Straight yeah. at the flag? I don't think. Well, you're on the green, so I can't really do anything else. You've done well to get there into on this hole. It's a tough hole. It's been going okay today, haven't I, so? Yeah, it's been very good. Too good. That's my worst one so far, that. It'll find the green. <sighs> Bad strike and everything. No good. What a vista, I'm going to call it. Beautiful, but I'm a, good, long, way, isn't it? a long way from the hole. I'm feeling like two from here could be good enough, Lou. That's a wonderful effort, isn't it? Oh, Louis! I don't mean to say that for your gritted teeth, but you're not meant to do that on a stroke of the next one, are you? That's a putt, that, isn't it? That is a putt. I wasn't, honestly, I said, I said two would be good, and, well, I wasn't expecting two, let's be honest. It's taken us five minutes to walk here. I know it has, yeah. She's got me steps in for the day. Right, so you've got a 40 footer for the half. When you're on shots, I feel as though having the honour is, I haven't got a clue what to do. Okay. Well, I know let, I need this for the half, so. Let us know in that comment section down below is uh, who's playing stymie and uh, how's it going? It's just that brow, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good putt. Oh, it was on a good line, just never up. You know what they say, never up? Never up, one down. And one up, and it's a really interesting hole, very different than what we've played so far on the front. You said 242 to the flag. Yeah, 242 to the flag, par four, no shots. I mean, we're on a forward, or a, a slightly forward tee, aren't we? There's plenty of tee options, which I like. Yeah. A lot of sand. I know. Is this a wise decision? Stroke index. 13, no shots. I drove the ball so well on the front nine and then I've really gone to pot with so that. On. I'm gonna I'm gonna play stymie. You're stymieing? I'm stymieing, yeah. I think okay. it's where I made the errors last week. I'm not on a shot. I haven't had a very good shot there. I'm gonna play a stymie at one up, I think. Right then. Good stymie that I think. I fancy this one. Great strike. Is that enough to get it there? Oh yep. yes, it is. It's just carried that front right bunker. Oh, I can just see it pop up now. I think my decision to stymie was tactically a blinder. So although my ball was free of trouble, it had left an awkward chip shot to a two-tier green. Lewis ran up a long putt. and I came very close to holing out for birdie. Lewis came up agonisingly short to add into his own birdie tally. I think in the end, uh, the stymie card, I retain the honour, but I was like a, a few millimetres away from losing the hole, so I think, I think the stymie card was the right decision in the end. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And this is where we're going, so remind us, stroke index. Uh, stroke index 15, this one. Yeah. So no shot. Okay. Uh, straight down, bunkers on the left. Okay. So. Oh, 
Better Lou? Yeah. Steady that. Yeah. That's your safe shot, isn't it? But I like it. Yeah, it's okay. Are you I'm going, or you not? Yeah, I'm going to have to play, I think. I've used a stymie, so I'm in the fairway. I'm okay. not on a shot, but I think I've got a... There's some holes you've just got to take on, so you can't... You can't void every hole, can you? That's it. Come on, then. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I think I'm all right there, yeah. Well done. Two decent drives meant it was down to the short game and there was only one winner in that department. I need to chip up somewhere close to give me a chance of a par. And with Lewis's hot streak coming to a halt, I had the chance to make par and retain the honour. So I got a good half there out the way on a non-shot hole. Could do with one getting getting one away here. Yeah? yeah. Good swing that. Yeah, I got that away. That's the best. Yeah, that's right down the middle for Diddle. Yeah, I'm kiboshing that. Stymie. Oh mate, that's still running, honestly. It's it, you, you called stymie before that stopped running. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've just smoked that. We're not playing that. Yeah, super swing. Great drive. So with only the honour at stake, I will quickly explain the rules for those who haven't been watching of late. Stymie can be declared by the person who has the honour after they play their tee shot, and Stymie can be declared by the second on the tee before they play their tee shot, which is a big disadvantage. You get two stymie each in a nine hole match. And to be clear, if you play stymie, the hole is nullified and you only play out to declare who has the honor on the next tee. That's a beautiful golf. I'm in for five. What, this what is for birdie. Yeah. What hole number was that, Lou? 12? Uh, this is 13. 13. This. Beautiful hole that, wasn't it? Yeah. You got it? Yep. Look at that. Great stymie. Four on a shot. It's yeah, a bird, yeah. That's a birdie, net eagle. Yeah, good doesn't, decision. Doesn't get anything for it. So one, <laughs> well, you love saying that, don't you? So that's one stymie each down, yeah? It's the happiest I've been all day. <laughs> I know, yeah. You still one up? 154. 154. Okay. Between clubs. Come on, that's a shot. That is terrible. That's shocking, Lou. I don't know what happened there. You know what the only good news is? It's in play. I didn't go in the bunker. My God, that was the worst shot of it in quite some time, but there you go. Over to you. Are you playing it? Uh, that is a good point. Well done. Thank you for saving me. I was that annoyed with me bad shot. Um, do you know what? Uh, no, I'm going to stymie you. I'll have to stymie you. I'm, okay. I'm rid of stymies again. Okay. Lewis followed up with what seemed to be a sublime iron. That's a great read. <laughs> That's not bad. That was a simple two putt. We just had that chat. <laughs> You've been unlucky would be uh, yeah. an understatement. That's pitched probably a yard past pin eye, which that's where the flag is. And uh, he's bounced somewhere there. 
and kicked all the way down. Oh my word, I'm back in two. Oh, this is good. This is good. That's superb, mate. The great effort from there. Oh, that's a quality up and down. It's only for the honour on the tee. It was another half, I suppose. It wouldn't have made a great deal of difference. It's nice to see the putter going, isn't it? Yeah, I'm still one down. Yeah. So this, is this par five? Par five. You've got no stymies left. No. I've got one. And you're one up. So can I go over directly over that? There's two bunk? fairways here. Yeah. So but can I fairways. carry that sense of bunker? Uh, it's a big carry. A is big it? Carry. Yeah. Probably okay. the left one will be better for you. Left side. Great swing. Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah. You're, on a, you're on a shot here as well. Yeah, I'm on a shot. Well, for me, it's obviously it's in play, so. Brilliant. That's bang on. What are you going to do? Choice is yours. Now, last time we played. No, this is a really long hole, this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make four here, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's, yeah. that's fighting talk. Yeah. I love it, Lou. Right. So he's keeping hold of that stymie. He's got a bit of that tactic going on again. I better watch out for that. Oh, my word, he's nutted it. He's absolutely nutted it. That is drilled. Still a long way home, though, isn't it? Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Two, so, yeah, it's 257 to centre, and the wind's in a bit. Delighted with that drive, you don't realise how tight this fairway is, do you? No, it's, it is the narrow bit, isn't it? Yeah. It is the narrow bit, but good drives. On a shot here, nice and steady. Yeah, good pick up that. These tight fairways, you've hit it solid. Really good. Oh, mate, happy, delighted with that, to be honest with you. So nice, that, isn't it, though? Yeah. Look at that. Just a crisp fairway, just clipping one off the top. It's so nice and rare at the minute in the UK. Ah, a bit pulley, that. Just off to the la left, a tad. It should be OK. So, come on, then. Uh, 75 in. Yeah, little sandwich. Don't like that pin. Ah, it's tucked a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Quality strike again. Oh, brilliant. So good. Oh, it's Happy. three. Oh, I've strung three shots together there, mate. Delighted. Really good. Delighted. Get up. Oh, not enough. Oh, no. Stay. It stayed in the... Oh, no, it hasn't. forced me to... Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's not bad. It could Yours be a lot worse. stiff on a shot. I'm, uh, I'm having a mare here, not playing stymie, aren't I? Oh, pick it up. Pick it up? Pick it up, yeah. I'm having a stinker up here. Well, first of all, what an absolute stunning par three. Yeah. That's, but then concentrating on a match, it's quite hard at the minute because there's a switch up between concentrating on a match, enjoy what you're looking at. Anyway, 150. Um, this is a great hole, isn't it? I'm you, on a shot. You're on a shot on a par three. So I've got a, I've got a really good shot here. Swing again. Oh wow! Stay there. Oh, that's so lucky. Oh no! That is so I lucky. I was going to the up. hole. It was coming into the hole, and it's just come back down, hasn't it? Wow! Right, I'm going to stymie me that. You're going to stymie me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on a shot. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stymie me that. Okey doke. We're so just playing for the honour, but oh my word, that's so nice. I told you earlier on that the views are pretty much every tee box you stand on. I'm not sure how that works, but because they're not all elevated, but you've always got that view. Oh, 
Yeah. Just hold the line. Just hold. Big. Big as well, yeah. Wrong club. Good decision to use a stymie. Good decision. Good decision. Would you not think like this week we're starting to grasp the whole stymie concept well, a bit better? Well, we've used all the stymies. Yeah. But I'm two down with two to play, so I feel as though maybe I haven't quite got a grasp of stymie yet. Super shot. That's a super effort from there on that down slope. Ten goals of that, you wouldn't get that any closer. No. No, it's very good. Yeah, nice effort. Yeah, probably, probably the right line. Um, but it just needed this. Hi, ah, lovely three that. Lovely three. Great tee shot. Yeah, it's an amazing up and down there. I'll give you a due there. That was incredible. It got you an out, but... What's that? It got you nothing. No, it got me nothing. Well, there's the tee shot. So you can go left towards those bunkers, which would leave you an iron to over there. You can see on the horizon. So it's a bit of a quirky one. So is this a shot hole? The only card? Uh, no. No shots? No shots, no. 293. No okay. shots, no stymies. This hole is in play. Oh, it's a good strike. Miss it. Miss the bunker. Miss one. <laughs> oh, it hopped it. <laughs> I think that's when you always know it's probably looks on your side when you carry one bunker and pop the next. You've got to put this on the flat, on the, on the green, I think, really, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, it's par four. <laughs> Just there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, that is shit. Oh, it's not. That's okay, mate. It might have leaked a bit, but that's perfectly fine. Seeing that pop up as well. It didn't feel great. Played to perfection, wasn't it? Yeah, I just got the yardage right. Played to perfection. Just uh, make sure you clear the bunkers. Good course management. Right, come on, shut up, hand. What are you doing here now? That's another world, isn't it? That's another world. Right, Lou, we need one of them birdies that you had in abundance on the front nine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I had one on the back nine. Get up, ball. Come on. One more. Stay there. Yeah, oh. it's on the right tier anyway. Yeah, not great. It's a chance, mate. Not great, that. It's a putter's chance. So in the no-shot situation, I feel this, this is obviously a must-make, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, terrible pitch shot. Yeah, good roll. Great pace. They just haven't felt for you on the back, bud. No. Pick that one up. Oh, oh, that would have been so nice to finish on a bird. Ah, oh, you played really well. Thought there, I had that, Lou. Nine. Really good, that. Right, let's get out of the way of these behind. Ah. So as you can see, hell was unleashed and victory was mine, which meant absolutely nothing. Oh, you were on. You're on. You were on. Am I on, yeah? Yeah, you're on. 
Okay. Yeah, I see. Do I need to, do I need to put it there? Yeah, definitely because you're ruinous. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Muffle it loads. I see people like changing like YouTube stuff. Yeah, you can do that, but don't fuck it on your armpit, which is about what you were doing. I said trendy YouTubers. I am not. A you are, I am not are. trendy and I am not a YouTuber. Yeah, that's what exactly <laughs> what you are. Anyway, cheers. Well played. Yes, well played. Good game. That was a tale of two hours, wasn't it? Very much so. Are you going to split the G? Yeah, tale of two hours. I just love it, yeah. What do you think of the course? I absolutely loved it. Loved it. I was trying to think on um, the leisurely stroll of 18. Because you'd won. <laughs> was uh, what it reminded me of, and I really struggled in terms of like pigeonholing it into a UK golf course. And um, Renaissance Club. Yeah. So, again, not not the same at all. And you mentioned it's got similarities yeah, to King's, King's Barnes, Barnes yeah. which I've not played. I think those three are like a modern take on Lynx Golf. Yeah, yeah. And I can't think of anywhere else that's in that bracket because Lynx Golf is quite rustic yeah. in the UK, isn't it? But simple I mean, things. People who've done it, they, 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 don't get me wrong, they're not all rustic, they're brilliant, but these are a modern take on it. And I just love this. I love Renaissance. I love King Fans. Yeah. I probably prefer this than the oldie, what, oldie sort of. Links. Yeah, yeah. The turf was just fantastic to play off, wasn't it? You play yeah. an iron or you play a wedge and get to it really crisp off the yeah. top and it just felt superb. Greens were, I can't believe how, how good they were. They were, I mean, they'll be a lot quicker in a month or two's time, but it was the, they were solid. I mean, they were, they, yeah. they were firm, the they were receptive, course, but firm. The whole course was so dry and I think this is some of the weather we've had lately that's uh, it's just ace I love it I could come back here tomorrow and again the next day but the big deal is and what we've held on for don't go anywhere because um, very shortly we will find out uh, whether or not yeah. we're going to be playing the old course and uh, I've never played it before Lou has I've got to say I'm quite excited and nervous at the same time and um, yeah so yeah, not yet. Not we'll yet. Find we'll out find out soon. Yeah.